The last stop on this tour is the Arizona Railway Museum. The Arizona Railway Museum was founded in 1983 by five local rail fans that decided Arizona needed to have its own railway museum. When Chandler started building out Tumbleweed Park, we moved down here and we have been building up the collection because this site has got more room and more track. We've been able to add a little bit more equipment and of course we're always looking for more of uh, these rare antique pieces that befit the Railway Museum and, and uh, also have ties to Arizona or the West. Everything that we do here and every dollar that we raise goes into the restoration of the equipment. Uh, our volunteers are amazingly skilled. Some of them are not rail fans when they get here. They just want to be part of history and, and part of the preservation movement. And our goal when we restore something is to restore it to operating condition. There's an opportunity sometime to maybe work in a movie and the cars have to be functional and they have, if they're going to go out on the road, they've got to meet current FRA standards to be able to do that. So when we do it, we do it right. We opened September 8th, so that's our fall season. And what we do every year, now that we've got a big site, we have different pieces of equipment open uh, at different times of the year. Uh, twice a year, we have every piece of equipment here that can be open is open. And that's the fourth weekend in January, which is our Members Day, and then National Train Day is the weekend around the 10th of May. And everything that we have is open. But during the rest of the year, we'll have a passenger train open. Uh, this time of year, this particular train set is open. You've got a bedroom lounge car, a coach, a full lounge car, and a dome lounge car that will be open uh, through the first of the year. We have a display building with the smaller artifacts. We have a gift shop, and we just want people to come out. We're open every Saturday and Sunday, noon to four. Probably the queen of our collection is a car that we've named the Desert Valley. It was built in 1879 for the South Carolina and Georgia Railroad. It was a wood car on a wood frame uh, that in 1923 was modified by the Southern Railway and they put it on a steel frame with steel sheeting. It's really one of our key pieces in terms of being really a historical museum. Our steam locomotive was donated to the city of Chandler by the Southern Pacific Railroad. It qualified to be placed on the National Register of Historic Places. Uh, so we have the steam engine and our steam derrick. They're on the historic register and we're really proud of that. The kids can go up in it and all year long, they can climb up in the cab and ring the bell. The bell cord is operational. You pull on it, the bell rings. And then twice a year, we put the steam whistle back on it and they can climb up in there and blow the whistle. It's amazing how much the museum has grown, not in terms of just the amount of track space we have to display cars, the amount of cars that we can have open, but when we move down here, we're drawing more people than we ever did at the other site, and that's really tremendous because we live off donations and grants. That's how the museum survives, so the more people that come, the better off we are. There's so much more. The party is here. You can rent your own party car for your special event. And speaking of special events, the museum has a bunch of their own. To learn more, check out their website or give them a call today. If you want to come down to the museum, we just love to have you. There is no fee to just come through the gates and walk around, look at the cars, uh, enjoy yourself, have a picnic lunch, go through the small artifacts display building. If you want to go through the passenger cars, there is a small fee, and that's just to, to protect the cars, and there are donation boxes in every car. Whatever car you put money in, all of that donation goes to that car. For more information, you can look at our website, it's azrymuseum.org, or you can call 480-821-1108. If it's during our open hours, somebody will answer the phone and talk to you. If not, you'll get the message or you can leave a message and somebody will get back to you. If you'd like to make donations to the museum, then you can leave a message or talk to somebody. We'll make arrangements to have somebody come and get it. We always want more stuff. Keep that channel right there. The calendar of events is next.
the sound that we're taking off, which means this show's coming to a close. We hope to see you at one of Chandler's finest museums real soon. Until next time, come out and play, Chandler.